going out with the girls after work. Everything's tough when you start something new. But we're hot. No, dear Shelly. No love, Tommy. Doesn't he care how I feel? Don't you think we should get back to work? They do. One, I could let you down. Two, I could let you hang here until the maid comes. When's that? Next Tuesday. We'll go with choice number one. Good choice. Um, now that I have you hanging around here and you have decided to make a record, I think we better agree on a couple of things. Like what? Like first thing tomorrow morning, we go in to the office and choose a song. I already know the song. Yeah, but what if I don't like it? You like it. Yeah, but I have to hear it. Shelly! Okay, okay, presuming I like it, are you going to behave yourself doing some publicity photos? I don't want my picture taken. Okay, okay, I'll do them. And I need some promo interviews. I hate doing interviews. Next Tuesday. Okay, next Tuesday. Now get me out of this contraption. <clears throat> don't you just hate when this happens to you? Look! <laughs> I'm sorry I lied last time, but they made me do it. Tell them about Churchill. No, this story is about Catherine the Great of Russia. Now, I'm sure you've heard some pretty outrageous stories. I don't know, I heard something in history class about some horses and some scaffolding and things like that. But hey, who am I to tell her how to play, right? But what is actually true is she was a very insecure monarch. So insecure that she actually had appointed to her court a royal flatterer, whose sole job it was was to tell her how wonderful she was. Can you imagine this guy's job all day long following her around? Catherine is going, oh, royal flatterer, how is my hair? Oh, great, Catherine. And how is my nose? Oh, great, Catherine. No wonder they called her Catherine the Great, right? <laughs> no, but what is honestly true, she really did have a royal flatterer. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. I bet you think I'm pretty crazy chasing you around like this. No, I like a woman who knows what she wants and goes after it. Most of the women I know don't have that kind of determination. They only know what they don't want. I can't even tell you that in advance. I knew exactly what I wanted when I started my own label. I just didn't know how hard it was going to be. It's been a tough go, has it? Well, everything's tough when you start something new. But we're hot. We have um, three or four artists on the verge of breaking through, an album about to go platinum, and uh, two singles on the chart with a bullet. Then you don't need me, do you? It's not really a question of needing you. It's um, more a matter of wanting you. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. You know, maybe if you gave it another chance, things might be different this time. Shelly, I don't have anything to prove to anybody. I'm happy here. You mean it's safe here? You don't understand, do you? I apologize. That wasn't fair. It's just that it burns me up to see somebody with such a natural gift as yours spend the rest of their life here and not share it with others. I can't help but think that you're cheating them, not to mention yourself. You have a chance to be somebody really spectacular. And it's just not going to happen here. <laughs>